Hey NFT Plaza's community, it's Jake again. Don't get, please don't get tired of hearing that. I'm with uh, one of my new buddies who's gonna tell us all about his project Soulcraft. Um, you know, take it away. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name's Steve. I also go by Stinky Duck. Uh, we're building a action RTS game on Unity, and it's going to be integrated into Solana. Uh, our game's called Soulcraft. Uh, it's uh, it's a fantasy RTS. Uh, we have launched three different NFT collections already. Uh, we're currently ten months into development. We uh, have our alpha demo slated for release at the end of next month. Uh, we're also building a DeFi integration as well for every one of our NFTs. You can either stake them or send them on a mission. Uh, and every one of those items that you're going to be able to use in game for crafting or, or various uh, uh, things within the game itself. So. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, can you touch a little bit upon the game mechanics? So how does the game actually work? How do the NFTs integrate within the game? Um, yeah. Talk a little bit about how you, a player can get up and running. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, so the NFTs are an actual. Every NFT that we have is an actual in-game character. Uh, so our our game will re uh, read the wallet that you have your NFTs in, so that it can be integrated into the game. Any items that you have uh, can be used uh, within the game as well. So, uh, within the crafting elements, you'll be able to merge them together. Uh, once you get to an NFT item. That NFT item will be registered as a, a, a non-fungible token, uh, and you'll be the, the creator receiving a royalty because we'll register your wallet, uh, and any time that NFT item will be sold in a secondary market, uh, you will receive a royalty for becoming that creator as well. So That's awesome, that's awesome. And then as far as um, the traits and the NFTs themselves, yep. um, what's a good trait, what's a bad trait, what should people look out for, yep. what should people avoid? Um, you know, save us a trip to Rarity Tools here. Okay, okay. Like, like, yeah, like, yeah, what for should sure. We look for? So, I mean, I, I don't want to necessarily say there's any bad traits because every trait uh, will have its own Everything about utility. Game is perfect. Yeah. No, no, I mean, I, of course there are, are the weaker traits and then there are the stronger traits like... Uh, uh, the, the like the different uh, helms that you have or, or god skin I think uh, is like our most uh, sought after trait because it gives you like 10,000 uh, extra damage or something crazy so um, but every single trait will influence the DeFi and the gaming aspect as well whether it's uh, you know a pickaxe gives you a, a better mining rate within the game or if it's an armor set that gives you a better staking rate for your dwarfs every item uh, every trait has a has a utility on both uh, the DeFi and the game. So, okay. Yeah. So then, um, you seem like you're very you know passionate about video games. You yeah. probably wouldn't have started your own if you if you, if you didn't love it and enjoy it. Yeah. So can you well, talk a little bit about um, kind of your favorite video games growing up? Kind of what got you into the space, and then um, you know what games kind of inspired you know Soulcraft, right? Sure. How, how did you yeah. get to this point? For sure. So I'm actually not the original founder. I am one of three founders. Uh, the original founder, uh, his name's Mal. He lives in Australia. He was not, un unfortunately, not able to make it out Far today. Trip, yeah, yeah, so a little ways. Uh, but um, basically, you know, Warcraft, uh, Warcraft Three uh, was a very big influence for the game. Uh, me growing up, I played a ton of Warcraft One, Two, and Three. Uh, Diablo was also something that was uh, influential to the game for me. Um, uh, obviously, you know, the different Zelda games uh, I, I was really fascinated with as far as the item inventory and, and ga gaining items as you progress through the game that are going to help you to, to beat certain stages. So, uh, But each one of the founders has different games that they've had influence them. Uh, Kadirius, our, our other co-founder, is the game developer. Uh, and, you know, they actually met and then met me and brought me into the collection. So... Uh, but yeah, there's three founders, and from there we have uh, another 12 uh, team members, uh, totaling uh, 15 team. Wow, awesome.